Hello and welcome to Research Methods and Health and Behavior Studies. I am going to do a little tour of the Canvas uh, property here so that you can uh, get more familiar with at least how I've used Canvas. So from this home page, you see you're on the home page, I'm going to click here to get to the starting module, which you've probably already done if you are getting this video. Now one of the things about uh, Canvas that I um, would like you to notice is that <clears throat> Canvas is really built around modules and in general I use a module per session. It so happens that in the first session we have a getting started module and then a module one. So you'll have to cover two modules for that first session. So there's getting started and there's module one. Okay, so um, then there are different kinds of items in the modules. This item is a page, it's called a wiki page. Uh, and this item is um, actually, it's called a wiki page, but it actually goes to a, um, a file that you can download that's a PowerPoint file. Uh, that is an introduction to the course that you should review. <coughs> review. Uh, then this um, item is a discussion topic and then we have another page where you can uh, look at the syllabus. So you can look at the syllabus up here and you have a syllabus and you can also download the syllabus. So this jumps up here. This feature has a lot of other features about um, the assignments at the end, but I'm not going to cover that um, now. I'm going to go back to um, modules <clears throat> and show you that in addition in, in, this, in this page, I also have a file with a schedule in it. So the schedule tells you about the dates, the particular dates. The syllabus tells you about information about the course, uh, but not particular dates. So this is what you'll need the schedule, and so you should download the schedule, and then you can look over the entire course and see what's going on. Now I must say that the schedule will may change depending on what we decide to cover uh, and how much, depending on what it kind of feedback I get from you uh, when you when I. Uh, look at these assessments that you're doing. So, but this is a sort of a tentative schedule. Okay, so now we're going to go back to modules up here, and so we'll get back to getting started module. And then here we have this this um, item is a quiz. I have a number of quizzes throughout the the um, course. Uh, this my method here is based on an article that I read a couple of years ago about how testing can help you learn. And so, um, in, for instance, in Module 2, I'll have you take a pretest, and then I'll have you take, uh, have you do various things and take a post-test. Uh, so the pretest you're going to take before you've even read anything to s sort of prime your mind for what you, what we'll be looking for. Okay. And so, and then, uh, these are um, these things represent discussion topics, and so that's where you go to for the discussion topics. So, so here is um, oh, I keep on uh, clicking the icon rather than the actual link, which is the t the letters. And so um, here is uh, the first uh, discussion, and um, it has to do with introducing yourself. So um, you're going to do that. You're going to follow these um, things. I've actually uh, at some point replied to this discussion uh, with my own um, with my own answers to these questions uh, in writing. Okay. So then, uh, um, and then the other thing to notice here is that I try to always have a questions um, discussion board or link so that um, if you have questions about that 
uh, you can do that. Now, you can ask those, and I'll try to answer those. So um, one of the things that's nice about Canvas is that you can always hit these Next buttons or Previous buttons to uh, go up to the previous um, page or down to the next page or item. And um, one of the things that uh, you should also know is uh, about help. You can get help on Canvas by searching the guides for commonly asked questions, or you can actually chat with Canvas support in a live chat. So far, they've been pretty um, responsive to me. Um, or you can actually call them. They're available 24-7. So it's pretty nice. All right. So um, that's the story with Canvas so far. And uh, I will stop here.